Okay, next is example 10. We have a circuit consists of capacitor which connected in series with lamp 2.5 volt, 0.3 ampere and 50 hertz source. Okay, calculate the reactant of the capacitor and resistance of the lamp. Okay, so sekarang ni baca ayat ni betul-betul. So, dia kata ada apa? Ada capacitor yang sambung pada lamp. Sebenarnya lamp ni kamu kena tahu dia adalah sebenarnya resistor. Okay, jadi circuit ni adalah circuit RC. Ok, lepas tu awak baca lagi perkataan dia kata Lamp 2.5 volt ada koma 0.3 ampere Maksudnya uh, 2.5 volt ni adalah voltage across R uh, Voltage across R Awak kena faham maksud tu Dia kata connected with series of lamp of 2.5 volt 0.3 ampere ni adalah current lah Sebab dia series jadi current ni flow dekat capacitor Current ni juga flow dekat resistor This one is frequency. So, dia nak reactant of the capacitor, dia suruh you cari XC. XC is equal to 1 over 2 pi FC. Okay, so 1 over 2 pi F is 50 hertz. Darat dengan capacitor 1000 times 10 to power of negative 6. Okay. Alright, so you akan dapat... 50 times 2 pi times with 1000 exponent negative 6 1 divided by answer you dapat 3.18 ohm 3.18 ohm ok how about resistance of the lamp V resistance of the lamp so R is equal to VR over sorry ok VR over I RMS lah so VR is 2.5 Divided by 0.3 ampere. Okay. So, 2.5 divided by 0.3. So, you get 8.33 ohm. Okay. So, next is impedance of this circuit. Circuit combine, combine between R and C. So, impedance must be Z is equal to R power of 2 plus XC power of 2 then square root. So, R adalah tadi yang kita cari 8.33 ohm power of 2 plus XC is 3.18 power of 2 then square root. Okay, 8.33 power of 2 plus 3.18 power of 2 and then set answer. 8.916 so 8.92 ohm. Okay, this is impedance. Next, voltage of the source. Means that voltage total. Okay, voltage total. So, you kena guna total punya formula lah. V source is equal to I Z. Uh, tak boleh guna by component. Kalau Z dia kena cari dia punya uh, total. Sebab dia punya case ni, Z ni bergantung pada case. Kalau case dia RC, so maksudnya Z mesti ada combination antara R dan C. So, I tadi adalah 0.3 and then Z tadi kita dah cari. Impedance. Impedance adalah berapa impedance tadi? Ah, this one 8.92 8.92 so 0.3 times 8.92 dapat 2.68 volt ok dia adalah voltage source ok next is voltage of the capacitor ah, ni specific specific means by each Capacitor sama dengan I, X, C. So, I sama dengan 0.3 sebab dia series. X, C you boleh cari yang you cari dekat soalan satu, uh, soalan A lah. 3.18. Okay, 3.18 times with 0.3. So, you get 0.954. Okay, 0.95 volt. Okay, next dia tanya. Explain why the total between the voltage across the capacitor and the lamp is not same as the source voltage in C. Okay, so kita tengok dulu. Voltage uh, total sama dengan uh, voltage across capacitor campur dengan voltage across resistor. Kenapa nilai ni, voltage total ni tak sama dengan yang kita dapat daripada soalan C. Soalan C yang kita dapat Okay, soalan C tadi 
Okey, macam tu eh. Soalan C tadi, kita dapat. Okey, voltage source 2.8 kan? Ha, kenapa? Okey, so kenapa tak sama dengan soalan C iaitu ni adalah alternatif current. Kalau kita lukis phasor diagram eh. Okey, phasor diagram kita lukis phasor diagram. So, kita ada apa? RC eh. Kita ada rumput dan cacing. Okey, RC means rumput dan cacing. So, kalau rumput dan cacing, I rumput. So, VR ni cacing bawah VC. Jadi, sini adalah current. So, resultant akan come out daripada dua ni. So, inilah V source atau V total. Sekarang ni masalah kita nak dapatkan V source ni macam mana? Sebab V source ni duduk between X component dengan Y component. So, nak dapatkan Vs, kita kena guna formula Vr power of 2 plus Vc power of 2 then square root. Ha, because voltage across resistor and voltage across capacitor are not in phase. Sebab tu kita boleh main tambah je. Kita kena buat macam ni lah sebab Vs ni dan uh, Vs ni terhasil daripada Vr dan Vc yang berlainan komponen. So Vr and Vc are not in phase. So, sebab tu tak sama lah. Okay.